quite often people ask me why I'm different. Now this is a very good question and one I get asked often. I describe my job as having three hats. The first hat is that of a life planner. This is where we discuss our clients' goals and aspirations, what the concerns are and how we might be able to deal with them. The focus is all on you, the client, as a business and as an individual. Together we create a plan, a track to run on if you like, and for me this is the most interesting part of my job. I like finding out about people and how they created their business and how they got where they are now. No two stories are the same. Now the second hat is that of a financial planner. This is where we look at your current resources that are available to you now and then those that will become available to you in the future. From this information we can create a gap analysis. This is the bit missing between where you are now and where you want to be at a point in the future. The future can be different for different people and for different concerns. Some people will have short, medium and long term goals and we aim to find a way of dealing with each one. Now the third hat is that of an independent financial advisor, an IFA. This is where we will deal with the implementation. Now if a financial product or service is required, then I will research the available market, carry out the necessary due diligence and find the correct product to serve the needs of your plan. Although an important area, it is, to be honest, the boring end of the process. I have helped my team of power planners and fund researchers do a lot of the legwork in this area. So how am I different? Well, most advisors are IFAs. They simply jump straight to the third hat and want to rush to sell you a product or service of some kind. Now, this doesn't make sense to me. It has turned the relationship around to be about the advisor and his income and not what is important, the client and their lifestyle. Now, to carry this out properly, I must tell you the truth about money. That is the good parts as well as the bad parts. Now think of me as your financial doctor. If you were feeling unwell and went to your GP, you wouldn't want your doctor just to tell you about part of the problem. You'd want to know the full extent of the problem and any solution. That's how I operate too. I need my clients to understand what they must wake up to, the fact that life is not a rehearsal. We only get one chance at this. So if you'd like to find out more, please visit my website, allthingsfinancial.co.uk.